I'm going to commission the first complete classroom, which has been built. We have monitored it from ground. Uh, we shall commission it. It is somewhere in Siaya, in, in, in Ugunja sub county. And uh, there are many, many others that are under roofing stage in that area. So we might even beat the deadline of first week of March if we carry on with this uh, pace. I want to urge those others who are still at the foundation stage to get a life and start working very quickly. I want to wish uh, the candidates who are uh, going to take the exams uh, in about six weeks all the very best and to reiterate the fact that the examination is perhaps going to be the most friendly. They don't need to worry because we took into account all the considerations. It's very important for Kenyans to realize that 99.99% of our schools, boarding schools, are being well run and that it is, it, it is not perhaps right to assume that the 0.01 .01 who have criminal children and tend to take all the air time uh, should be the ones that should be used to judge our systems. And this is why I am a bit confused about boarding schools. Because I would ask now that in a school like this, why would one imagine that you want to dismantle this boarding school to become a disco? It doesn't make sense. So mine is to say that we should be very firm with those few schools where children have actually defeated their parents at home and they are bringing that rowdy attitude into schools. We should be able to deal with them as we debate about corporal punishment. Again, I'm asking myself when I'm in this school, as I see the girls as, as well as they are behaved, what addition would corporal punishment add to them? But then there's a question as to those ones who are bold enough to smoke bang and to take other drugs and to do all sorts of things within the presence of the boarding schools. So perhaps rather than uh, abolishing the boarding schools, we should get approved boarding schools, which will deal with this uh, kind of activity very firmly.